3.3b, subtracting rational numbers, we're using number lines. Subtracting a positive rational number is represented on a number line by drawing an arrow moving left in the negative direction. We learned that in the previous video. Now, subtracting a negative rational number is represented by drawing an arrow moving in the positive direction to the right. We can use subtraction of a negative number to represent an increase. To subtract a negative rational number on a number line, we start at a point for the first number and draw an arrow moving the positive direction for the second number. So we have a negative 2, so we start at negative 2. Here's 0, so that's negative 2. Draw our point. And we're subtracting a negative 3 and 5 tenths. So we're going to head towards the positive. 1, 2, 3, and a half. It's going to put us at a positive 1 and 5 tenths. That is our difference. So remember, the first number, the one we draw the point at, is the minuen. The second number is called a subtrahen in a subtraction problem. And of course, the answer is the difference. So we have a minuen and a subtrahen. If this subtrahen is negative, we're going to move in a positive direction. So here's an example of a word problem. In March, the water level of Lake Michigan was three-fourths foot below normal. By the month of May, the water level was one-half foot below normal. What was the overall change in the water level? So we need to subtract to find the difference in water levels. Our equation is going to be a negative half, which is May's level, minus a negative three-fourths, which is the initial March level, the earlier level. We draw a point at negative half. So here's one, here's zero, which is normal. Here's negative one. So here's negative half, which is also two-fourths, isn't it? We have a three-fourths here, so we can say that that's two-fourths. We draw an arrow. The absolute value of negative three-fourths, which is three-fourths, up in the positive direction. We move up in the positive direction because we're subtracting a negative. The result is one-fourth. The water level increased by one-fourth foot. So let's understand this, how we ended up with that equation. We know that in March, it was three-fourths foot below normal. That's the earlier value. Then in May, a couple months later, it was a half foot below normal. So it's still below normal, but by how much? The May is the later value. And one half foot is like two-fourths foot, if we want to give them the same increment, the same denominator. So we're looking for the overall change in the water level between March and May. And to find a change over time, we subtract the earlier value from the later value. So the later value is going to be our minuend. That's how we ended up with the one-half as the first number. Now we're going to subtract a negative three-fourths, and we got a positive one-fourth. If that's still confusing to you about the earlier and later values, to find the change over time, we subtract the earlier value from the later value. So picture this. A movie began at 1 p.m., that's the earlier value, and ended at 3 p.m., that's the later value. To find the change in how many hours went by, what was the overall change in time, we would start with the later value, 3 p.m., and subtract the earlier value, 1 p.m. We know the movie was two hours long. The overall change in time was two hours. Do you see how we went from the earlier value being listed first and then the later value? But then to find the overall change, we listed the later value as the minuend and took away the earlier value. So that's what they did in this problem. So subtracting negative numbers, we move in the positive direction on a number line to add the opposite. If we have 2 and 6 tenths and we're subtracting a negative 3 and 2 tenths, we rewrite it as 
adding, instead of subtracting, the opposite of negative 3 and 2 tenths, which is a positive 3 and 2 tenths. Now we can just add them. We have 6 tenths and 2 tenths, that's 8 tenths. We have a 2 whole number and a 3 whole number, that's a 5 whole number. We have 5 and 8 tenths. And we draw, because this is subtracting a negative, we start at 2 and 6 tenths. This is drawn in tenths here, and we have six of them. So this is two and six tenths. And we move in a positive direction. The absolute value of three and two tenths, which brings us to five and eight tenths. When we add a negative number, we move in the negative direction on a number line. So if we were adding, notice it says adding a negative, we would have gone to the left. But because we're subtracting a negative, we have a minus sign, minus sign, we're going to move in the positive direction. Sometimes there'll be words in our textbook that are completely confusing. So this is actually from the textbook. Let's see what it says. The statement is, to subtract integers, we rewrote the difference as the sum of the first integer and the opposite of the second and use the rules for adding integers. That's a lot of words just to say we added the opposite and then used the rules for adding integers to use the correct sign for the answer. We learned about adding the opposite in video 1.3c. So what they're saying is to subtract integers, okay, we have negative 5 minus a negative 3, so we're subtracting integers. These are both integers. We rewrote the difference as the sum, so instead of a difference, it's a sum, so we have a plus sign, of the first integer and the opposite of the second and used the rules for adding integers. We found the difference between their absolute values and took the sign of the greater absolute value. So we have a negative 2 for that sum, which means if we are subtracting a negative, we're going to have a negative 2. Here it's telling us to use a number line to find the difference. We have a positive 1 and 5 tenths, and we're subtracting a negative 75 hundredths. So the first thing we do is we draw the point for the minuend. Here's 0, here's 1, so that's 1 and a half. That's 1.5. Then we move in the positive direction, because we're subtracting a negative, we're going to move in the positive direction 75 hundredths, which is going to be 3 fourths, right? And these are split into 1 fourth increments, so we're going to go 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths. So we're at 2 and 25 hundredths, or 2 and a fourth, for our answer. We can look at this and think, oh, we're subtracting a negative. We can add the opposite. We can do 1 and 5 tenths plus 75 hundredths. So for subtracting integers or rational numbers on a number line, we have the first number is the minuen, the second number is the subtrahend, and the answer is the difference, of course. If the subtrahen is positive, here we have a positive 1 minus 4, the arrow faces left to the negative direction. We have a positive 4 that we're subtracting, so our arrow is going to face left to a negative direction. We're taking away 4 from the 1. If our subtrahend is negative, if we have a 1 minus a negative 4, the arrow in the num for our number line, right above our number line, is going to face right to the positive direction. If you can put this into your notes, it's going to help you if you have homework with number lines and subtracting negatives or positives shown on a number line. We're finished with part B. We're going to move on to part C, which is adding the opposite for rational numbers. And the opposite is the additive inverse, isn't it? Remember, if you're ever feeling lost, you can always rewatch the video or watch the previous videos to catch up and figure out what you missed. Have a great day and join me for the third part of the lesson. Bye.